What is going on my people? It's your favourite vacuum king! By the way, yes, I've got a customised t-shirt that I made. This is a brand new old stock Pneumatic Henry HVR 200-22. Okay, so before I dig into this goodie bag, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the box. So, not much to show really, just the old school 2000s style of box that they made in the mid-2000s. That is the same side as the front and along with the other side showing you the internal guts of the Henry Hoover. So, let's get unboxing. Oh yes. This is the floor tool, suitable for carpets and hard floors. This makes it a multi-purpose head. You've got the twin pedal set up, so push that down with your foot and that pushes the bristles out the bottom of the floor tool as you can see. So these bristles are the only part that's going to be touching your hard floor. So the metal base, which is extremely shiny, by the way. Sorry, I should have given you a sunglasses warning. Get your sunglasses out now. This thing is extremely shiny, isn't it? Back onto carpet mode, these bristles will disappear. Ooh, magic. But yeah, as you can see, that is very, very fresh, unscratched, brand new, perfect, lovely jubbly. Can't wait to use that. Maybe, maybe not. We've got the Deluxe Metal Wands. So, as you can see on the inside of the wand, it's pretty clean. It might be just factory dust, but there's no actual dirt in there. This pair of wands looks absolutely perfectly fine, apart from a little small dent in that one, but that's mine, I'm not too fussed with that. And then you've got the curved handle as well, which is the older style. You've not got a vent, it's just one big gaping hole when you open that. It's quite stiff. No, it's not actually. So yeah, one big gaping hole. Which way does it open? Is that open? Yeah, it is open because yeah, you can see our finger in there. And then you close that up and then you get the full suction. Next up, we've got the long super duper hose. Woo! Look, factory dust. This is not the new Flomax hose, I think it's called. This is the old school hose. Now, basically what that is, is the hose on the entrance part is the exact same diameter as the exit. It's not a conical shape where the machine end is wider, which is a better design, I must say, but this is the old one. Removing the hat of the Henry Hoover. The best bit starts now. Oh my days, a Henry bag. Yo, I'm excited about this. Do you know what? There's a story behind this, you know, from my school days. In the, in the playground, at lunchtime or recess whatever you call it there was a girl right she was wearing one of these as her school bag casually she's wearing it on her shoulder like this in the playground on the football pitch and i was looking at her like she's got a henry she's rocking the bag it's quite a high quality bag as well you know it's made out of some really good fabric that feels very strong and i never knew there was a solid kind of a uh, black plastic at the base that's nice yeah, this bag is a stuff. I'm really happy with that. www.pneumatic.co.uk But these days, it's myhenry.com. Mwah! I'm going to be keeping this safe. The bag of accessories I'm going to open up right now. Crevice tool dust and brush. You know what they are. Adapter tool for the end of the hose. So you can directly fit the accessories onto the hose cuff. Right over here. Because the tools wouldn't normally fit on unless you have the adapter tool because look without the adapter there's nowhere it's going to fit on is it that plastic is also quite shiny and smooth well it feels quite smooth the new ones have that matte kind of plastic the stair tools the same but one difference i found with the older models is these bristles are a lot more dense and stiffer so that's going to be a really good stubborn dirt brush i don't know why they made it softer on the new ones but you know it is what it is now in the late 2000s pneumatic has introduced the heather flow bad this is from before that era, so you get the paper bags. I don't know what they're called. That's what they look like anyways. You get one, two, three bags, and I'm assuming there's one in the vacuum as well, so that makes four in total. Get your sunglasses out for this moment, guys. He is extremely shiny. I've got the push switch version, which I wanted. Yes! Woo! I'm celebrating tonight. This plug has the safety plastic cover so we're going to remove that and you've got this nice chunky plastic plug which is uh, something that you find on the UDS Henry's I believe so that's nice and finally you've got the instruction manual right here which I'll show you at the end I promise I will not forget empty box Henry look me in the eyes when I say that I love who's that well we're gonna have to tell him aren't we so the UK has been obsessed with cordless vacuums and obviously since Henry's been under a rock or <clears throat> in the box yeah 
He doesn't know about these updated things in the vacuum cleaner market. This is Henry Crick. He's cordless. He's still bagged, by the way, but it's basically a Dyson vacuum, which is cordless in the form of a band version. Yeah. Ow, my foot, man. I just whacked it on the extension shoe. Right, time for some epic shots. Everything out the box. Henry's face. Scary face in the metal sole plate. Information sticker. Instruction manual and the shopping bag. Look how extremely elegantly shiny it is. Wow, ooh, shiny. There's the tools with the extremely stiff bristles, which I'm obsessed with. Bring back the old school stair tool pneumatic. This was way better. Anyways, extension tubes, curved wand, hose, the instruction manual. Happiness is Henry shaped. Thank you for purchasing your Henry. Not only will he work hard for you, but we are sure he will always make you smile just when you need it. Included in your box, you'll find a bright red Happy Henry shopping bag. Use it wherever you can, whenever you can. It's fun. There really is nothing that cannot be improved with a smile and nothing quite like a Henry. Of that, you can be sure. Turning it upside down. Oh, yes, I've got the Aero brush. Microflow bags, that's what they're called, but we've got the new fancy bougie HEPA flow bags, not the latest ones because they're rubbish because they leak dust, you see. But the green color ones are brilliant. So, the hard floor tool is another great accessory. I've got one of those with nice rubber wheels, that thing glides along tiles with ease, making very minimal noise. And there's the uh, what are they? Why the tubes? I don't know. What are they? If anyone knows in the comments. Let me know, please. I'd appreciate that. Then there's this safety information about the vacuum cleaner itself. Do's and don'ts. And as for the manual, this is the most interesting part. So inside, you've got the warranty information, which is a two-year warranty, which is pretty cool. I think it's a year now, or is it two years still? I can't remember. If anyone knows about that, please let me in the comments below. There's the animated instruction manual. I love how... You know what I like about Henry's, yeah? If anyone wants to see a Henry, yeah, that they've never seen one of these before, they would think it looks like something that's going to break, when in fact it's actually the opposite. It's one of the most highest quality vacuum cleaners you can actually get. They're extremely robust, high quality, long lasting, made in Britain machines. So they're the opposite of what they look like. So looks can be deceiving, can't they? But yeah, that's the Henry vacuum. So if you open the valve, you've, what is that, reduced 70% of the suction or you get 70% of the suction? I don't know, they need to be more clear on that. Same with the high and low function as well. I don't get it. Do you reduce the suction by 70% or to 70%? I think it's to 70%, you know, because the suction is pretty good on low mode still. Anyways, there's a back. 45 litres of airflow a second. How do you measure suction in millimetres? I don't get it. But yeah, the weight is 6.6 .6 kilograms. Cleaning range, 26.8 metres. Wow, that's quite good, isn't it? 9 litre dust bag, 1200 watt twin flow motor that's a pneumatic henry okay let's take a look inside the henry vacuum so pop open the side clips lift up on the henry motor unit revealing the filter and there's the spotless immaculate motor unit on the base now pop that aside this filter is extremely white definitely definitely brand spanking new yeah these filters as well they feel a lot more thicker on the older pneumatics compared to the new ones so the quality has really dropped downhill, unfortunately. And there's the dust bag as well. Let's just check that to see if it's 100% brand new. Because if there's any dust in there, can you see any dust? No, definitely unused. So that's lovely. So there's a date wheel in there saying 06. So that's definitely 2006. Pointed to number six. So that was made in June 2006. What does this say? Was that made in? Yeah, 23rd week of 2006. This isn't obvious, but this is actually a flip over tab that you can push into the bag itself, which is, <laughs> it doesn't really work properly because, you know, the hole's gaping huge and you've got a little, little, um, little part I'm trying to keep that sealed, but it obviously doesn't work. But, you know, at least it's there to show that they care. But popping the bag in now, you know what I like about these older Henrys? they were much better value for money. You get a vacuum with a really powerful twin flow motor at 1200 watts, yeah? Much longer hose. Oh, I forgot to put the filter back in. Yeah, the filters are thicker on the older ones. The hoses are longer. You don't get sharp edges on the end of the extension tube. It feels more robust and high quality. 
The floor tools had actual metal on the base. These bristles were stiffer. They even went to the extra effort of giving extra dust bags and also a shopping bag. Do you know what? This one never came with a beach ball, actually. Some of them did come with a beach ball as well, along with a shopping bag, I believe. But it just goes to show that the only pneumatics were much nicer machines and you got a lot more for your money. Do you know what I mean? You know, at the end of the day, the design's still relatively the same. It's still a nice domestic tub vacuum that can be used in the home. So yeah, I do really rate these machines a lot. Okay, fitting the holes now. The thing is, when I unboxed my new Henry XL, this hose was extremely, absolutely stiff to put on. But this, being brand new, it goes on with ease. Do you know what I mean? But with the new one, I had to really force it on and really had to exert a lot of energy into fitting the hose, which is quite weird, you know. I shouldn't have had to do that on the new one. But with this, top notch, very good. Okay, fitting the floor to the onto the wand. That's actually really stiff, you know. Yeah, you can tell that's never been in there before. Yeah, it actually does feel a bit stiff. You've got to really wedge it in there. And I'm rotating this as well. It rotates fine, but it doesn't want to push in. So that's weird. The bent handle goes into the hose cuff. Yeah, that was easy. And then that goes right in there, which is also just as stiff as the wand going into the other wand. See how it wobbles? It doesn't want to go in. Okay, that's fully fitted now. Nice and high quality. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, the plastic's absolutely perfect. There's a little bit of dust, but that's obviously just from storage or maybe the factory as well. But yeah, there's a lovely push switch button. These had a problem, you see, because the, you know, the metal contacts that would mate with the actual live metal contacts, they would burn up and then the switch would just stop working entirely. So they went back to the rocker switch style, which is basically like this, to switch the machine on and off. But yeah, this is your high and low feature. To reduce the suction, you put it on low and then high for the full blast suction. There's the storage clips. You can fit whatever tool you want onto the machine itself for storage. But on the new ones, you've got little cutaways on the back of the bumper or Henry's bum, whatever you want to call it. So you can put the tools on there and literally have all the tools stacked up on top of each other. The wheels are mint. The whole machine is mint. The base is mint. The multi unit is mint. The plug is mint. Everything is mint. Let's check the front wheels as well to see if they're mint. Can we see that? Absolutely fine. Yeah, Henry's looking fresh. Ooh, look at that shine. Love that. Okay, enough talking. Let's plug him in. So what I love, I forgot about this. The cable rewind just pulls out so smoothly. It rewinds so elegantly as well with no effort at all. And the new one, it's nothing like that at all. Oh yeah, guys, by the way, Crash Fine Black & Decker. So, let's switch on Henry for the first time. Ah, mint. It smells like a new vacuum as well. The thing about these twin floor motor Henry's, yeah, when you switch them on, on low power, they sound like UFOs. <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds like a UFO to me. Let's see if this one does it. Maybe not so much because it's brand new. However, when they're well used and you switch them on on the low power, they sound like UFOs. Henry's made from 2002 up until early 2006, where the only Henry's that you can switch on with your foot. And I love that feature. Right, let's do some vacuuming. This is on low power. High power. I love the sound of these motors. They're really nostalgic for me. Sounds like Britain in the 2000s. Even lifts the carpet up. These things are super powerful vacuum cleaners. I love these so much. I'm obsessed with this, you know. 
So that is the HVR 200-22 from 2006. I'm your host, Power 786 Subscribe for more vacuum videos. And I've got a second channel as well, which is so close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 1,000 very, very soon. Um, less than 200 away. About 180 away, I think. So yeah, subscribe to my second channel, please. Power 7862 with the 2 at the end. Anyway, signing out. I'll see you next time. Bye.